East Israel continues deadly strikes in southern Lebanon, with the many women and the children being the worst of the victims among the 15 people killed in the latest attacks in Sarafanand and uh, Harit Saida near the Sidon city. At least 143 Palestinian people were killed in Israeli strikes across Gaza, with over 132 of those killed the besieged north of the war-torn territory. All right, joining me live on the broadcast is my colleague Ayush to give us more details about how the situation is unfolding in a very difficult manner for the survivors and the families of the victims who have in fact lost their lives. Israel, as Ayush continues its deadly attack, uh, the total number that we can understand is in fact 143, which has a lot of women and children as well. But the 15, uh, including women and children, in the latest attacks have been the worst affected and been killed in the latest attacks in the Sarafanand and Harit Saida, uh, which is near the Sidon city. What exactly is the situation on the ground? Has the, has in fact uh, the Iranian authorities been making any publicized statement over uh, how the attack on these bases are being now defended? Uh, well, yes, Finland, Israel has estimated its military operations targeting certain Lebanon with a series of airstrikes that have resulted in the deaths of at least 15 individuals and many of whom are women and children. These attacks have occurred in the regions of Sarafand and uh, uh, Haris, Saida, located near the city of Saiden, further heightening the tensions in the area. Also, the conflict has had severe repercussions in Israel since the Hamas has said around 1,139 Israelis have been killed and more than 200 people have been taken captive, raising concerns about the ongoing violence and the potential for further escalation. In Lebanon, also, the toll from Israeli strikes has been equally devastating since the war in Gaza began. At least 2,787 people have been reported killed, with 12,772 wounded. Just on Tuesday, 77 individuals have lost their lives due to the aerial attacks across the country, highlighting the widespread impact of the conflict on civilians. As the situation unfolds, the humanitarian implications continue to grow with thousands displaced in an urgent need of assistance. The international community remains concerned about the potential for further violence and ongoing suffering of those caught in the conflict. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.